Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in Mark Twain village in Heidelberg, Germany. By the way, behind me is the former headquarters for the NATO in Europe. And here in front of me, much more interesting, is a hedge with lots of wild and feral fruit. And one of those fruit is the blackthorn. Yeah, those blackthorn fruit, they were almost ripe in July, which is quite unusual. Now it's August. And yeah, they are pretty ripe, but still very tart. Basically, blackthorn fruit stay tart until the first frost. I guess this year they might get a little bit more sweet even before the frost because they arrive in August. If the first frost arrive in November, it would be September, October, November, they will be hanging for like over 90 days on the shrubs in the ripe state. So I guess they're gonna get sweet even before the frost. Actually, the fruit I ate was not very tart. Yeah. Typical ripe blackthorn. Tart, but already edible. The blackthorn is actually a very important fruit. Why is it so important? Well, it grows in a white... <coughs> it is a little bit tart. <coughs> so I have kind of a sore throat from it a little bit. <coughs> Come on. Well, it grows in quite a large range of climates. I've seen it in Sicily and it grows all the way to Scandinavia and it's being used a lot to make uh, wine, brandy, especially liquor. You can make very tasty liquor out of it. The first liquor I ever made was from Blackthorn and I never regretted making this liquor actually. <laughs> After that I made about 70 to 80 different ones but this was the very first one. But no, those are not the reasons why Blackthorn is so important. All our domestic plums, which are aptly being named Prunus domestica, are a hybrid between blackthorn and cherry plum. So this is one of the parent species of all our yeah, plums, gauges, green gauges, blue plums, and so on. Actually the blue and also the slight tartness in the plums comes from this parent, from the Blackthorn. Why is it called blackthorn? Well, in German the hawthorn is called white thorn because the bark is quite light. This is called blackthorn because the bark is kind of dark, although here there are some lichens. Lichens love blackthorn. They like to grow on it. But basically the bark is much darker than the bark of the hawthorn. That's why this is called Blackthorn, while well, the Germans call the Hawthorn White Throne. 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 Oh my god. I shouldn't have eaten the fruit so early. They are really nice and sweet and juicy, but still kind of tart. So the Blackthorn. Yeah. I found a couple very interesting Blackthorn varieties of Blackthorn plum hybrids recently. But this here seems to be the real thing, the real black thorn. They are thorns, yes. Here. They definitely are thorns in this plant. The fruit are quite small and taste-wise, despite being ripe so early in the year, they are tart. So this definitely is the real black thorn. Also, it doesn't get too tall, three to four meters. I think the one here in front of the Hawthorn is about four meters, but I don't think that real wild black thorn, which is not a hybrid with a domestic plum, will get much taller. Yeah, folks, this is basically all I can say about the black thorn. Very important parent species of all our domestic plums and quite useful for stuff like uh, wine and liquor making. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the 
hatches and shrubberies of Germany. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.